Hello and have a good day, learners. Welcome to our video lesson in Mathematics 10. This time, we will discuss about Rational Root Theorem. In this lesson, you are expected to find the rational root of a given polynomial. Rational Root Theorem Given a polynomial p of x equals a sub n x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 plus a sub 1 x plus a sub 0. The possible roots are of the form p divides q, where p is the set of all factors of a sub 0 and q is the set of all factors of a sub n. The roots are sometimes called zeros or solutions of a polynomial p of x are the values of x for which p of x equals 0. Finding the roots of a polynomial is sometimes called solving the polynomial. A polynomial with degree n has exactly n number of roots. Number 1. Find the roots of x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6. So here are the steps in solving using rational root theorem. So number 1. List all the factors of p and q. So the value of p is the constant term which is 6. And the value of q is the leading coefficient which is equal to 1. So the factors of p are positive negative 6, positive negative 3, positive negative 2, and positive negative 1. The factors of q are positive and negative 1. Then apply p divides q and list the possible rational roots. So to find p divides q or the possible rational roots, just divide the factors of P by the factors of Q. So example, 6 divide 1, so that is equal to 6. 3 divide 1, that is equal to 3, and so on. So P divides Q, or the possible rational roots are positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 3, and positive negative 6. Then after that, determine which possible roots satisfy the given polynomial. Using synthetic division, make sure that the remainder must be equal to 0. If not, try another possible root. So let us now determine the roots of the given polynomial. Using synthetic division, you may notice that the given polynomial is in a standard form. So bring down all the coefficient 1, negative 4, 1, 6. Then let us try 2 as the possible rational root. Then divide using the synthetic division. So bring down 1. The 1 times 2 equals 2. Negative 4 plus 2 equals negative 2. Negative 2 times 2 equals negative 4. Then 1 plus negative 4 equals negative 3. Negative 3 multiplied by 2 equals negative 6. 6 plus negative 6 equals 0. So the remainder is 0. So 2 is a rational root. Then to get the other rational roots, Equate q of x to 0. Factor, then solve the value of variable x. So our q of x is x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. Then factor this trinomial, so we have x minus 3 times the quantity x plus 1. Then each factor equate into 0. So x minus 3 equals 0 and x plus plus 1 equals 0. Then solve for the variable x. x equals 3 and x equals negative 1. So therefore, 2, 3, and negative 1 are the rational roots of 
x cube minus 4x square plus x plus 6. So number 2, find all the roots of p of x equals 2x cube minus 3x square minus 11x plus 6. So this time, the value of p equals 6 and the value of q is 2. The factors of p are positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 3, and positive negative 6. And for the factors of q, which is 2, are positive negative 1 and positive negative 2. So the possible rational roots are positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 3, positive negative 6, positive and negative 1 half, positive and negative 3 half. So let us now determine the roots of the given polynomial. So by synthetic division. So since the polynomial is in standard form, so let us write all the coefficients. So 2, negative 3, negative 11, and 6. So this time, I'll choose negative 2 as the possible rational root then divides using synthetic division. So bring down 2. So 2 times negative 2 equals negative 4. Negative 3 plus negative 4 equals negative 7. Then negative 7 times negative 2 equals 14. Negative 11 plus 14 equals 3. Then 3 times negative 2 equals negative 6. 6 plus negative 6 equals 0. So since the remainder equals 0, negative 2 is a root of the given polynomial. Then to find the other roots of the given polynomial, so let us use the q of x, then equate into 0. So our q of x is 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 equals 0 and then factor so to factor this trinomial get the factor of the first term 2x square and the factors of the last term which is positive 3 so we have 2x minus 1 and x minus 3 the factors of 2x square are 2x and x and the factors of positive 3 are negative 3 and negative 1. So let us check if the factors are correct. Let us multiply the inner term and then add the product of the outer term. So negative 1 times x equals negative x. 2x times negative 3 equals negative 6x. Then, let us add negative x plus negative 6x. And that is equal to negative 7x, which is equal to the middle term, negative 7x. Therefore, the factors are correct. Then, each factor equate into 0. So, 2x minus 1 equals 0. And, x minus 3 equals 0. Then solve for the value of x. x now equals 1 half and x equals 3. Therefore, the rational roots of p of x equals 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 11x plus 6 are negative 2, 3, and 1 half. Number 3. Determine the roots of x raised to 4 minus 5x squared plus 4 equals 0. So in this given polynomial, p equals 4 and q equals 1. So the factors of p are positive negative 1, positive negative 2, and positive negative 4. The factors of q are positive and negative 1. And the possible rational roots are 
positive negative 1, positive negative 2, and positive negative 4. So let us now determine the roots of the given polynomial. So you may notice that there are missing terms x cubed and x. So let us put 0 as their coefficients. So by synthetic division, write the coefficients and choose the possible rational root. So this time, I will try positive 1. So bring down 1. 1 times 1 equals 1. 0 plus 1 equals 1. 1 times 1 equals 1. Negative 5 plus 1 equals negative 4. Negative 4 times 1 equals negative 4. 0 plus negative 4 equals negative 4. The negative 4 times 1 equals negative 4. Then 4 plus negative 4 equals 0. So since the remainder is 0, 1 is a root of a given polynomial. And then to get the other root, since q of x equals x cubed plus x squared minus 4x minus 4 is in third degree polynomial, we can still use synthetic division. So let us now write all the coefficients of q of x. So this time, I will try negative 1. And then divide by synthetic division. So bring down 1. Then 1 times negative 1, negative 1. 1 plus negative 1, that is equal to 0. Then 0 times negative 1, that equals 0. Negative 4 plus 0 equals negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 1 equals 4. Negative 4 plus 4 equals 0. Again, the remainder is equal to 0. So, negative 1 is a root of the given polynomial. This time, let us equate the q of x to 0. So, x squared minus 4 equals 0. And then, factor. So, the factors are x minus 2 times x plus 2. Each factor equate to 0. So, we have x minus 2 equals 0 and x plus 2 equals 0. Then, solve for x. So, we have x equals 2 and x equals negative 2. Therefore, the roots of x raised to 4 minus 5x squared plus 4 equals 0 are 1, negative 1, 2, and negative 2. I hope you learned and enjoy our lesson. Thank you for watching. This is Irene Asuncion Eugenio. Stay safe and God bless everyone. Bye!